Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. I want to show you something I've been working on for <laughs> like a while now, but just recently this month, I spent a lot of time working on this stuff, so I want to kind of update you on what I've been doing because I haven't really filmed a lot of the process of this stuff. Um, I decided that I'm going to be um, opening my own shop off of Etsy. Um, my Etsy will still be open, but I'm going to stop posting my stuff on Etsy. I'm going to start posting it on my new website and kind of slowly fading out my Etsy. It's not going to be gone completely, but um, not right away. But I want to start transitioning to my own shop. So, and I have plenty of reasons for that, which I'll get into throughout this video. But while I talk about while I'm leaving Etsy, I want to show you all the fun things I'm making for my new shop. First of all, <laughs> I have been crocheting these really cute capelets, which I only made three because I want to test them out to see how they do before I make a bunch of them. But I'll show you a picture of what it looks like on. I haven't taken the photos for these yet, but when I do, I'll put them on the screen. But I made three of them in different colors, and I spent some time um, adding these like beads and charms to the strings that you tie in the front. So they're like cute and a little like more unique. But I did that for all three of them. I have a green one, a blue one, a pink one. But I crocheted these. Um, I'm waiting to take pictures of them and put them on the shop because, um, I mean, the, when you're watching this, they'll be up. But for this video, I'm just going to be preparing for my shop launch. Um, I don't know if I said that already, but yes, I'm preparing for my shop launch. We've got a new name. We've got new like stickers and everything. And I'm going to show you all that. I'm so freaking excited. Capelet's super cute. Um, and I'm trying really hard to, uh, I don't know, be sustainable in a way with my this new business. Um, I'm trying, I want to try as hard as I can to use what I have or shop secondhand, like for everything that goes up on that site. So I'm trying to do my part, I guess, in like the sustainability side of things. Um, these are made out of acrylic yarn, but they're made out of yarn that I've had for over a year that's just been sitting so like to me that's more sustainable than going and buying yarn so these are made super cute i'm only gonna do three for the shop launch just to see how they do but i'm waiting to take pictures and post them because i have tags coming in the mail they're supposed to be here this week i'm pretty sure but i ordered them from the same place i ordered my etsy ones from um it's called ever emblem i'll link them down below but i love them i'm trying some different tags than what i usually get from them because i want to add like a silky tag which usually I just get the cotton ones so i want to add like a silky tag to things i make that are going to be wearable um so the shop is going to be like a combination of sewing and crocheting but it's going to be like unique pieces um that I made, you know, that's kind of going to be the niche. It's going to be sustainable, reused fabric, upcycled stuff, that kind of thing. That's the goal. But these are made. Um, the beads and everything I used are just beads I've collected throughout the years that I've saved, um, whether that be thrifted, antique shopped, or um, I purchased for something a long time ago and I had extra. I used the beads on these. So super cute. I wanted to show you these because I spent like a whole weekend i want to say last weekend because today's sunday so we spend our weekends working on sewing and crocheting because it's like the only time i don't have a lot of school work so i went through i have two of these like tupperwares full of scrap fabric um just from all of the makeup bags i posted on my etsy shop um that i've sold this last year i have a bunch of scraps so i went through all the scraps and i created these like patches um these like funny shaped patches i made a couple of them like funny shaped to add like green and red these are all from like the mice um the mice pattern i sold a while ago and i kind of just cut parts out so i made funny shaped ones and then i made um like actual square patches in all different sizes with like different mice on them 
Um, and I the plan for this was to make a collage of them on tote bags. So I ordered tote bags in bulk. I say in bulk. I think I got like a 12 pack of one kind and a 12 pack of another kind. But um, I got them in the mail and I, there's two different kinds. There's these kinds which have like a, I like the strap of these more and they're thicker. I just don't know how easy it's going to be to sew on them. Um, they may feel sturdier and they may also, they're both, both kinds I got are recycled cotton, I'm pretty sure. I picked the sustainable ones, but this one's really thick, so I just don't know how my sewing machine's gonna take it when I start to sew these patches on. And then I have another set of 12 that are slightly different, that are a little more, uh, not flimsy, but thinner in material. Still sturdy, just thinner. Um, that might be easier to sew on, so I don't know. I'm gonna try and work with this thicker one because I just like the look of it more. So we're gonna try and make it work. I have a bunch of these patches that I made all from scrap fabric that I wanna put on a tote bag. That's not it. I went through all my scraps and I even made letters. Um, I made letters, like scrapbook letters, and I made enough to put, I think it's five tote bags I can make that say I heart cats. Ah! And then I have enough, I think, to make five tote bags that say I'm a scaredy cat. And that is going to bring me into my next topic, which is I picked a name for my shop. And I've already built my website and everything. The cat's one in the room. <laughs> I've already built my website and everything. And I've decided on a name, and it is Scaredy Cat. Okay? That name came from, um, I did a video, let me go grab it. I did a video not that long ago where I played with block printing and I ended up making this cute little I'm scared design with this little guy. Super cute, but I was sitting and I was thinking of coming up with a name because I want, I wanted a name that didn't have anything to do with Amazing Page because on my Etsy it says Amazing Page Creations and it's super long. And I just didn't want my name on it anymore. I don't know. I just wanted like something that was separate to me. Like, like this is the business that I own. This isn't me. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like when you put your name or like my YouTube name, your brand name on a shop, it's like, it's just an extension of you. But I didn't want it to be an extension of me. I wanted it to be my shop, if that makes sense. Like, I wanted people to see it and be like, that's a shop that Paige runs. That's not Paige. You know what I mean? It might sound silly, but that was how my mind was at. I designed this little guy. Oh, so cute. And I came up with the name Scaredy Cat, and then I sat on it for a bit. And the more I thought about it, the more I loved it. So I used the little drawing that I have of this little guy. He's like my little icon um, for my brand. And yeah, so Scaredy Cat. I have the tote bag idea with the I'm a Scaredy Cat letters, which I already cut out and already made um, a couple weekends ago. I was waiting for the tote bags to get here, but I think I have enough. I have enough for five of those, and I have enough for five. I'm pretty sure I'll have to recount. I heart cats tote bags, because I thought those were so cute. And then we're gonna figure out what to do with these on the tote bag, and that's what we're doing today. The focus is the tote bags today, because they got delivered yesterday. Okay, I'm trying the like sturdier tote bag first, the thicker one because I like it more, so I'm wanting to use, this is the one I'm wanting to use. I'm just kind of laying out the letters. I want it to be kind of funky looking. Um, I trimmed up some of the letters because they were just a little too big. But yeah, I'm going to pin these in and then I'm going to try and sew. It's so thick. I, honestly, before I like really start, I should have just like picked a spot and tried to sew a lot of... Ow! I stabbed myself! <laughs> A lot of these next things I'm gonna do are gonna be like with letters that like can't move <laughs> while I'm sewing so I need them to be in one place. I've got everything pinned on so I'm gonna take it over to the machine and see. I'm gonna use a white thread because that's what I used for all the letters so I want it to kind of match. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be really hard to do. I'm just gonna have to go slow. Yeah, that's about as slow as I'm gonna have to go. Almost an hour later and the 
gnarliest kink in my shoulder because I was not paying attention to how like I was squeezing my whatever it doesn't matter it is so <laughs> freaking cute the lighting's a little weird so you can't see the s but oh my god I sewed the patches on it looks cute and funky it matches like I sewed these letters before I wanted to use the same stitch and the same color thread so it looks funky the heart it looks all funky it's a little wrinkly because I had to like bunch it up through the sewing machine to get it to work right but the letters are on there and it is so cute oh my god it's exactly what I pictured I did when I made the letters I had like no measuring I just made the letters off of vibes only and it happened to be like the perfect size letters for this tote bag anyways that's one done okay yeah i have four more and all the letters are different so like if like for this one the eye is purple with blue this one the eye is like yellow with a different color and this one's like purple with pink so like they're all mismatched and different but i think i'm gonna do all of the i heart cats ones first and then we'll do the scaredy cat ones because the scaredy cat ones the letters are smaller but there are so many of them like this is the i heart cats letter and this is the i'm a scaredy cat letters so oh i love it okay i'm gonna make the other four hopefully today that took forever and my freaking shoulder hurts because i wasn't paying attention like when i was pushing it through and like since i can't it's not like um just a panel it's a bag so i have to like crunch it up and like move it around and shove it in my sewing machine and readjust like every four stitches so it's just like i was tensing my shoulder the whole time so for the rest of these i need to relax my shoulders because i'm not gonna get through this if i keep doing that <laughs> ah pause second tote bag is done i think i like the heart colors of this one more than the other one but super cute second one is done and I'll put them side by side for comparison. But this is what I mean, like, not all the letters are the same. Some of them are, some of them aren't. So I think I'm going to do separate listings. But um, I am going to, like, lint roll them because I feel like there's just tiny threads and tiny little frayed fabric that I want to get rid of. And I'm going to iron them. I'm going to wait to iron them because when the tags get here, I have to sew the tags on. So they're going to get crinkled from me doing that. So I'm going to iron them once the tags are on. Third tote bag is done. I like the heart on this one, I think, more than the other one. I don't know, I like the red. This one has a little different of a T. The T's a little smaller in this one. Super cute. I know they're wrinkly, I'm gonna iron them, but I'm waiting. is done i love this one again i know it looks wrinkly it's not gonna be wrinkly forever i am gonna iron but i gotta wait because i gotta put tags on them back and forth on going in, right into the i'm a scaredy cat tote bags or taking a break from letters for a little bit and maybe doing something with these we'll see but as we go along here and there i want to talk a little bit about why i'm leaving etsy um because i like preach etsy to everyone who wants to start a shop and I still think Etsy is a great way to start your shop if you have no like funds to open a shop or anything like that and you want like the cheapest way to get your stuff out there Etsy's great for that um, but I think past a certain point when you start because I have like almost 3,000 sales on my Etsy shop past a certain point you start paying a lot in fees like a lot a lot and then it starts to kind of become this battle of is it worth it uh, like would I have a better time if I left the, the Etsy shop if I left Etsy um, and for me one of like the one of the points that made me make the switch um, 
I was looking at where all my traffic is coming from because my excuse for not leaving Etsy's was always, oh God, I'm gonna miss out on so many purchases, like so many, I'm gonna miss out on so many orders because Etsy is like a search engine and they bring so many customers to me. And then when I really was looking at my analytics of where my people are coming from, it's not from Etsy. Like 95% of my orders come from my link on my Instagram, my link on my TikTok, my link in these videos. Like it's coming directly from me. It's not coming from Etsy search engine. The amount of orders I get from Etsy search engine are not worth the amount of money I'm paying in fees. So that was kind of like, the last final straw that it was like okay it's time to get off Etsy um so for me that was kind of a telling thing but if you don't have any way to drive traffic to your your shop yet Etsy is a great place to start until you get there but I definitely think at some point everybody who started on Etsy kind of migrates to their own shop at some point and I'm just I think I'm there I think I'm ready is it terrifying yeah it's terrifying um I've done Etsy this whole time, so it's a little scary learning a new platform, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think the amount I'll be saving in fees, and not just fees, but I like the idea of someone knowing like my brand name. Do you know what I mean? Like When someone gets something off your Etsy and someone goes, where'd you get that? They go, oh, Etsy. Like They don't say the brand name, you know? So I'm excited to open my own shop because when people buy things and if people ask, well, hey, where'd you get that from? They can literally be like, oh, scaredy cat, okay? And the tag will be on the item. So it's like, you know, the brand name will be out there more than just, oh, I got that on Etsy. And at first it didn't bother me that it was like that, the whole like, oh, I got that from Etsy kind of thing. Um, but now I kind of really want like a brand, you know what I mean? And I feel like you can't really have a brand on Etsy, it'll always be an Etsy shop first. The last I Heart Cat's tote bag is done. I cut all the threads and everything. I'm definitely gonna probably have to do like one word at a time. Scaredy cat. I'm a scaredy cat. I'm trying to make sure it's like spelled right getting them in the right spot so maybe we'll just do the i'm a first and then we'll work our way through the scaredy and then we'll do the cat part okay our first i'm a scaredy cat bag is done what do we think there's a lot of frayed edges um and i think i'm gonna try and take a lighter to them to get them to go away but um i'm doing that later i'm just gonna get all the letters on first to all the bags but how do we how do we feel i'm gonna take a break and go eat lunch and give my neck a rest because I'm like tensing like the back of my neck and my shoulders and tensing really hard when I'm sewing. I think it's just like the way I have to sew these. Um, like I have to like make sure they're in the right spot and like the canvas is really thick. So it's just like bunched up around the sewing machine. I'm kind of like moving things around and stopping every two seconds. So I think I need to take a break and come back with fresh eyes. So I'm gonna take a break either for an hour or two and just go eat lunch and chill and vibe and then I'll come back. La 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 la. Look at this. Look. This is so cute. I love this one. It's like pinky, purpley. I love it. I have to keep checking the spelling because I have a fear that I'm going to like swap letters on accident. All right, y'all. I got the last three done. I don't know how many I've showed you so far. So this is the one I just finished. And then... The one I did before that. But there's so many like little flyaways. I'm gonna take a lighter and I'm gonna try and get rid of them carefully, very carefully, and see if I can get rid of them that way without burning my thread at the same time. <laughs> I'm trying to try to figure out a way to get rid of them. I'm happy I got through all of the letters though because that was taking a while. So I'm happy that's done and they're on there. Now I just have to kind of clean these up a bit. It's five o'clock, you know what that means. It means I'm just now getting into my craft room. But I wanted to share because it's been a couple days. I can't remember where we left off. I think we did our tote bags from what I remember. But I mentioned how we were kind of waiting on our tags to get here. Also, did I show you, 
Did I show you what I did with these thermal printing stickers? I used my thermal printer to make Scaredy Cat logos on these stickers. And I made some thank you stickers as well. Super cute, super easy. Way more affordable than getting like custom made stickers All since I already had my thermal printer. So if you have a thermal printer you're using for shipping labels and you don't want to spend money on custom stickers, get thermal printing sticker paper and use your thermal printer because that was amazing. I just made my design on Canva. But anyway, we got our labels in the mail yesterday and it's time to put them on our items which is like the final step before we take pictures and upload them on the shop so i have some satin labels i got my late i got my labels from ever emblem um which i've used ever emblem before for my etsy labels so i uh, first time getting the satin labels though i got these satin ones that if they'll focus they fold like this and then you sew them in and they're like soft, kind of like the ones you would put on clothes. So I got satin ones, and then I got two different size satin ones, more square and more rectangle. And then I got a sheet of cotton labels that I've used these ones before. Um, these ones are good for like the inside of makeup bags, things like that. But with the wearables I'm making, um, I wanted satin ones because they're not itchy. Um, and these ones I think will go in the tote bags, but yeah, so I'm going to start putting these tags on things. Um, but I'm going to put um, labels on them. So this is kind of how they are. They go around your neck. They're like little cavelets, okay? But I think I'm going to put the tag like right here. Luckily, I only have three made. So we're only really adding three tags. But it's going to kind of be a game of figuring out where to add it and how to add it. I feel like these are kind of supposed to go in like a seam line where they stick out and there's no seam line on this. So we're gonna save these ones. All right, let's sew one of these labels on this capelet and see how that goes. Okay, I put the label on. I think it's very cute. And what's cool about this is it's reversible. So like I put it on to where it's like covered, kind of like on a t-shirt, it's like on the inside. But if you want it to be out, you can flip it around it's up to you, but yeah, it's on there. Right. Y'all, I tagged all of the tote bags. I'm losing daylight. Actually, I'll just turn this lamp on. All the tags are in the same spot, right here in the inside of the bag. Super cute, they're all on. Now I'm just gonna go through and iron them all and then kind of like get rid of some of these threads. If you're really looking, there's just like little threads here and there. So I'm going to clean them up and iron them so that they're ready for pictures probably tomorrow because I'm losing sunlight and I want to take pictures with lighting. So, okay, I just got done taking pictures of everything and doing like the TikToks and stuff, all of my marketing stuff. So now I just have to do the boring part and sit down and put all the listings on my shop. So if you want any of the stuff that I showed you in this video, um, I'll link my shop in the description and thank you for your support. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!